Hello everyone and welcome to yourselves back to the channel and here to talk about our first Christmas film of the year because tis the season to be jolly and Christmas starts in November. <laughs> but yeah, we are here to talk about a brand new Christmas film, Falling for Christmas, featuring the wonderful and incredible Lindsay Lohan who seems to have, for me, I've not seen her in a film in years, I think she... Obviously had a lot of issues, but she's back in this role. And the man himself, Cord Overstreet, known for playing Sam in Glee. One of the I think he is my best character, my favorite actor from Glee. And when it wasn't Lindsay that drove me into this film, it was it was Cord bringing Cord into this film, bringing him into my line, my like my you know, my vision, you know, seeing him in a trailer was brilliant. And he nailed it in this film and so did she to be fair and the rest of the cast did apart from tad tad was very annoying but of course subscribe and like as always spoilers ahead go check it out for yourself it is on netflix and netflix original and enjoy so this general plot is Lindsay lohan's character sierra Loses her memory after skiing and banging her head, then being separated from her almost um, fiance Tad, who goes the opposite way, and basically Cordova Street's character Jake, who has a lodge, finds her, brings her in until she can remember who she is, what her purpose is, and all these other jazz. And what this film does for me is. It's it was such a good plot because at the start of the film, Jake is trying to, uh, Mister uh, has a meet wants to go meet this guy called Mister Beaumont Bo Beaumont, uh, who ends up being Sierra's dad, who he doesn't know, like he doesn't recognize Sierra from the hallway interaction because she was wearing glasses and a hat, and she was very dis different from when he found her in the woods. There's a lot of heart and love to this film because Jake's this character who's going through the film doing this large, he's done all these favours over the years, you know he doesn't like handouts and this sort of stuff he loves giving back to charities his dedication to help Sierra do things help around the place, be this mother role model to his daughter, obviously he lost his wife a couple of years ago and then you've got um his mother in law who obviously sticks around because of his because of her love for the daughter. And I love the story because it's a very simple concept, if you will, because you know, she was very much distanced from Tad. You know, she tried to sing, she was told she was tone deaf. She's been forced to live this bubbled lifestyle of she has to take over her dad's business at one one day or become assistant to him. Um, you know, you have to wear this, you have to go here, you have to be buddied up with people protecting you every second of the way. And the film evolves where well, obviously she's lost her mind and she's learning she's a different person. She likes things like bacon or she's trying to cook or she's trying to make a bed or she forms these relationships with I think it's Alejandro her name. Uh, Sierra, she becomes his mother figure. There's this Santa Claus figure who becomes this protector of the film, if you will, for wishes and making this, making Jake's Christmas happen, you know, making Sierra's wish happen that he would fall in love with someone. And he's going through all these stages of grief, you know, putting the uh, angel on the top of the tree. And then eventually he caves into the fact of he's fallen in love with Sierra and wants to do these things. He's hanging out, he's seeing this woman who's in front of him, who is kind-hearted, who is there for his daughter, who has got this nice relationship with Alejandro. He sees this person who's willing to be something, even though she doesn't know who she is. And for me, Lindsay Lohan stands out so much in this film as a brilliant actor. Actor, And it's because of her kind-hearted soul. You saw the bit, uh, the, excuse me, bitchy side. The, you saw the bitchy side to her at the start. And when she sort of, gets the memory knocked out in a sense, she becomes this down-to-earth, kind-hearted person who you can see has a future, has a mind of a road. And then eventually when it comes out, you know, she's engaged or, you know, uh, Mr. Beaumont finds her, 
after the, all this development of their romantic side, the love, uh, the connection, at this moment where he's about to thank her in front of all these people who have given so much back to Jake because of everything he's done, you know, the wedding suite or letting people off for money because simply he can't afford the rent anymore and it's going to be the last Christmas, but all these people come back after a celebratory uh, event thing for Christmas, Christmas party, and ultimately he gets so much money back from Mr. Beaumont who ends up supporting him in the end. And it's this story of he doesn't want money off people, but because these people feel in debt to him, because they feel so wholesome around him and welcomed, they gave back, they helped him out. And this character, I don't think it have been brought to life by many char- people, because Court Overstreet is so charismatic, he's so likable, he seems so nice. He's so brilliant, and his chemistry with Lindsay was excellent. Every character interacted with, you know, the couple on the sleigh when they found Lindsay's character, the way he interacts with his daughter, the way he talks to Alejandro, the way Alejandro sort of gives him uh, the blessing to not move on from his ex-wife, but to live, live in the moment, be with someone, be happy. Um, <clears throat> and I just loved everything about this film. It was such a lovely, romantic comedy uh, devoted to family, to Christmas, to uh, charities and working hard and the relationship with strangers, becoming more than strangers. Uh, I loved the way she stepped away from Tad and then told her dad she wants to be more independent. And then these two coming together as a couple and basically would work at the, uh, the lodge and together, the four of them. And it just became, it was such an easy watch. It was something like, you knew it was going, but you ultimately were like, these characters are so likable because Cord and Lindsay's chemistry was so amazing. Cord is the standout in this film simply because of how he is, because he gives me the same energy that Sam does in Glee. Um, he is the guy you want to go to. You, he's the guy you want to open up to and give your time for and just for me this will go down like films like polar express off christmas jingle all the way pete's christmas the ones i watch every year it's a fantastic film falling for christmas did everything i wanted to and to be fair i I had no idea what to expect just because Lindsay and cordon i didn't think it was going to be good i'm probably going to watch it again before um before Christmas is over, but of course, do check it out for yourself. I highly, highly recommend it. It is a fantastic, fantastic watch. And if anything, just watch it for the wholesome Christmas aspect. If you don't really know who Cord is, if you don't know who Lindsay is, then just watch it for the wholesome Christmas aspect because it has such a good story and such brilliant characters that just make it so likable. Netflix have just hit it out of the park again, as they keep doing with Stranger Things, Cobra Guy, this, and multiple other things. So, of course, stick around for more reviews for TV show, movies, and more coming your way very soon. Subscribe and like as always, and goodbye. And perfect 10 out of 10 for following for Christmas.